Kitty! My goodness! Alright. This is not gonna be the most entertaining video squad. Kitty. Kitty! But I'm making this just because now that my channel's getting bigger, I'm getting more and more comments about how people are claiming I'm a fake natty. You know, the usual that comes with, uh, you know, success. Especially the fact that I'm in the WWE now. Now uh, a lot of people are automatically assuming that that means that I am on PEDs. So, I was sitting around, as I'm sitting around right now, about to drink my coffee. Drink my coffee, get some energy, which is the ultimate PED, but it's a natural energy. So, drinking some coffee. And uh, I was at the table, and I found one of these puppies. These. Okay. Not that this is like the end-all, be-all, but uh, this is one from November. It says, Dear Eric, you... Uh, I can't read back. What is this? Is this backwards? Upside down? You have recently participated in a random testing event for World Wrestling Entertainment. Substance abuse and testing policy. Results of the testing conducted on a sample collected. Indicative. You are compliant with the requirements of the program. Test results are negative. Now this one's for November, guys. And as you can see in big bold letters, if you can see that, random testing. Now this random testing is every single month. Every single month I randomly get tested. And of course, I've passed every single test. Otherwise, the company wouldn't hold on to something, somebody that can't be compliant with their policy. Uh, now, let's think about the general rebuttals of the public. Uh, whatever. It's so easy to pass a drug test. Is it really, guys? Have you tried to pass random drug tests? Like, I love how people say how easy it is, but who here saying how easy it is online is randomly getting drug tested every single month? Okay? So how many of you are randomly getting tested and are passing these tests with flying colors? I don't think it's that easy. I think the people saying it that, are that easy are the typical coach coaches. Well, theoretically, it's that easy with half-lives. It should be this easy to pass. Is it really that easy to pass tests? Is that why guys in the UFC are failing tests all the time? Is that why um, people... Now, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, obviously. But I'm just saying, I mean, I'm not a physicist. I'm not a man with unlimited funds. You know, I make a middle class income uh, and have a wife and daughter. Okay, I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm not Johnny Laboratory, Johnny Physicist. Uh, also, I want to throw this at you guys as well. If I was, you know, taking, if I was a fake natty, right, and I'm taking all these PEDs, and I'm passing drug tests every single month, flying colors, um, <clears throat> or I'm not getting tested, which a lot of people assume is the case, or WWE, that automatically means that he's on something now, then why did I just get rid of my sponsorship from Chaos and Pain? Awesome company. They gave, they love me. I love them. They gave me whatever I wanted in terms of pre-workouts and things of that sort, protein powders, anything I wanted, they would give to me. Yet I just kind of cut ties with that. Is because I get drug tested randomly every single month, and I have a new career that is incredibly valuable to me that I'm not willing to put on the line to take some random substances. Uh, I certainly wouldn't jeopardize it to gain a couple pounds of body mass. I wouldn't do that. And people are like, well, it's like, oh, listen, I can't speak for other people. But when I have this really golden opportunity, I'm not going to sacrifice it to, you know, like try to try to pass these tests being all shady so I can have a couple more pounds of muscle. And they're like, well, it's, it's all about that. And this is the culture. Maybe back in the, the day, 80s, 90s, but things have changed. And certainly for new up and coming talent that they're training, there's gonna be a zero tolerance because they don't wanna have people dependent on drugs in the company anymore. That's when things tend to go pretty poorly. 
Uh, or say for whatever instance, somebody gets busted, gets in trouble. Now all of a sudden they, they're not on this anymore and their image changed drastically. It's, it's not a good thing. And uh, everything has kind of evolved. But also, let's get back to chaos and pain here now. Why would I just get rid of this uh, sponsorship that I had where I could get whatever I want on the hookup? Right? Why would I do that? It's because, I mean, I didn't know what, if, you know what I mean? It wasn't third party tested. It wasn't banned substance verified. So I wasn't going to risk it. And that's how important it is to me. Um, and I always advocate that I'm not huge into supplements. I always, you know what I mean? Like I'm all about gallon of milk a day. I'm all about coffee and things of that sort. But that's not to say I don't take supplements. Like sometimes there's just not enough time to drink a pot of coffee. And in that case, I'll take pre-workout. So why would I buy these stupid pre-workouts like this garbage? The only reason I do is because it has this little logo on it. Where is it? Uh, guaranteed banned substance free. So maybe despite this isn't like, oh, this is like the greatest pre-workout ever. Like chaos and pain stuff was amazing, but it wasn't guaranteed banned substance free. Same thing with this stuff. Why do I own this crap? Because same thing here. Uh, can you read it? God, this camera is hor horrendous. Uh, I don't know where it is. Whatever. Third party tested. Banned substance free. Yeah. What's this logo right here? And then same thing. <clears throat> if I need like a meal replacement or first thing in the morning, I don't have time to eat. I'll just take protein powder. So again, why would I get... Informed choice, trusted by sport, whatever informed choice is banned substance free, third party tested. All right, the only, if I'm gonna buy supplements now, the only supplements I buy are banned substance free, third party tested, which tend to be more expensive anyways. But I mean, also it's like, they're not gonna be like the most potent, powerful, awesome pre-workout supplements like uh, lesser known brands typically are. But that's probably because you don't know what's in it or Stuff is banned by WADA or uh, like NCAA. And uh, I get tested by this third party. As you can see, it's not a WWE test. It's Aegis, um, Aegis Sports Testing Services, which tests for anabolic steroids, uh, amphetamines, all that type of stuff, obviously. Uh, they're not going to be like, wow, we're going to, oh, he tested positive, but we're going to overlook this. This is a, a legit Come third party that WWE goes through because they want to ensure that up and coming talent is clean. They don't have any issues like that stuff of issues that they've had in the past. And don't bring up names. Oh, this guy is clearly on to this guy. I don't know what these people. Are. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what their policy is. All I can speak for is myself. All right, we're all independent contractors ultimately hired through this company. So since we're all independent contractors essentially. I don't know. I mean, I, but that's in my contract. I get drug tested every single month randomly. So I just figured I'd throw that out there for you guys. Again, that was just November's. <clears throat> I typically throw them out because it's no surprise that I'm passing drug tests. I would be shocked if I did fail. I'd be very upset because I wouldn't know why, considering I try to keep all that crap out of me now. But uh, that's that, guys. I just got tested again last week. If you want me to continue consistently keep uploading the results by all means I would love to do that because I know my channel is only going to keep getting bigger and bigger and there's going to be more and more oh, she's not mad. You, can't, you can't accomplish this natty I saw an argument like that online and then someone said this is the natty limit and it was this picture of a guy that doesn't even look like he lifts like come on guys you got to raise your standards it's unbelievable unbelievable and it's because people are like oh well the Boogs, the Boogenhagen only does one rep maxes. There's no way anyone would look like that for one rep of deadlifts, especially. First of all, guys, when I was doing one rep maxes, you're looking at a one rep max. How about the three hours my workouts typically were for a lot, a lot of times that I was doing that? Or if they were shorter, how about the two a day workouts that I was always doing as well? You're not taking volume into consideration whatsoever, not to mention a wide variety of exercise selection after a couple weeks not to mention nearly 20 years of training now too do you ever think that maybe if you do push yourself very hard very consistently and you're consistently on a surplus of calories you're probably going to make pretty decent gains and i've said this before and i'll say it again if people aren't questioning if you're natural 
and you are natural, you're not doing something right, okay? You should be striving to look like you're not natural if you're natural, that should be the goal. So I do, I take it as a compliment, but at the same time, I don't wanna be taken as a liar. And I think a lot of supporters that I do have as well, uh, a good amount of you believe that I am natural, because I am, and it's not like I'm, you know, I don't have sickening vascularity, which is one dead giveaway of that, of not being natty. Um, all right, if you know it, if you've been lifting and you've made pretty good gains, you can identify who's natural and who's not natural. But anyways, that's just some proof. I can throw more proof at you if you guys want, but um, you gotta fight fire with fire. You claim I'm not natural, I'll keep throwing random drug test results at you. Um, you can see wrestling pictures of me from 10 years ago. Like, I would like to think I have a decent physique, but it's not like I've made insane progress over the last, uh, eight years, you know, I've probably put like one to two pounds on of lean mass, probably one pound of lean mass every year, which is, I mean, that's to be expected, you know, 19 years of training, it's not like you're going to keep putting five, 10 pounds of muscle on every year, but nonetheless, I don't feel like rambling, I told you not to be the most fun video, not the most entertaining video, but it is what it is.